going to take my motors and my speed controllers. I'm going to measure and then cut the wire so that the motors get soldered directly to the ESC leads. It's a nice clean build that way. Some people do bullet connectors. I'm going to do it this way, but I'm going to get started on that now. All right, here you can see I've taken the speed controller wires off of each ESC from the motor. If you heat it up just a little bit to start to see a couple little bubbles and pull, then they come off real nice and clean. The spots that have a little extra solder, I'm going to use some uh, wick and remove that. So next up, I'm going to measure out the wires and get the motor wire soldered. All right, I'm going to show you how I, I'm tinning these and setting this up because sometimes people ask me how do I solder so I've got some flux I've dipped each tip into flux and you can see here I just have just a little wire showing you don't want too much extra because it just runs over so I've got it tinned and I just put my solder iron next to the wire with some solder we have for all of them this is getting tricky here let's flip it around there it goes. Now what I also want to do is flip it over because this is the side that's going to contact the pads. Make sure that there's solder that goes all the way through on both on the wire because the bottom the bottom is really where it's going to be contacting. And then let's line up. I'm going to push this down on the ground. So when I push against it, it doesn't move. And I'm going to start with the middle one. I always find that the hardest one to do. So I'm just going straight across with the software you can reverse the motor so I'm not really worried about direction and this one I might need to tin the pad oh I took it just fine there we go so you just solder on there and push it down on the pad doesn't stick real well you might need to yeah, this one I'm going to have to this pad's not sticking too well so what I'm going to do let me put a little solder down there first there you go see just took a little dab and that's going to help this stick in there. Yeah, there. There, it took it. I just want to be nice and slow. Good solder iron helps. And lots of practice. I'm going to put a little solder there on that one too. It came up a little bit, so I'm just going to push that back down. You can see it fill. And you want your solder joints to be nice and shiny. There we go. Unclip it. Give you a good view there. So that's why I'm doing my motors. All right, here I've got all my motors and speed controllers soldered together. You don't have to do it this way, but on a small ship like this, it really does help. And if you take your time, it does look neat. I will shrink wrap these, make sure that no dirt or contaminants get in there and short them. As you can see, we still got a wire mess to go, but uh, we are moving forward.